Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Graham Young. And I'm Tyler Blum. And these are your announcements for Thursday, February 16th, 2023. A reminder to all students, you are not allowed to be in the halls the first five minutes and the last five minutes of class. Please plan accordingly. NHS is hosting a blood drive on Wednesday, February 22nd during the school day. Sign up today in the Senior Commons. Also, NHS is having its annual Valentine's Day flower sale. Flowers can be purchased, one for $2 or three for $5, today in the cafeteria during lunch. Mr. Peel and the WHS Jazz Ensemble are looking for students that play piano, guitar, and drum set to add to its membership for the 2023-2024 school year. Interested students do not necessarily need jazz experience and do not need to be in band, but should already have familiarity playing the instrument and the ability to read music. Please email Mr. Peel or stop by the band room after school for more details. February is Black History Month, so each episode we're celebrating the many men and women who have called Northeast Ohio home and have gone on to have an impact on our society. Today we remember John Brown, a famous Cleveland barber who used successful business to make a difference in the community. As a formidable conversationalist on politics, religion, and philosophy, customers flocked to Brown's Barbershop, making it one of the most successful black-owned businesses in Cleveland. Prior to his death in 1869, Brown used his own money to build and run a school for the city's black children. Lesser known, but probably the most significant achievement in his career, Brown would use his shop to serve as the final stop for fugitive slaves before they crossed Lake Erie to freedom. To learn more about John and others like him, visit blackhistorymonth.gov. Now let's go to Kale and Ari for today's sports report. Kale? Ari? Thanks, guys. The Varsity Girls basketball team will host Strongsville in the OHSAA sectional tournament tonight at 7 p.m. here at Wadsworth High School. Tickets are $8 for adults and $6 for students and can only be purchased online at OHSAA.org. See the athletic website for more details. Softball trials are February 20th through the 22nd from 3 to 5 p.m. in the hitting facility near the softball fields. The varsity gymnastics team will compete in the OHSAA sectional meet on Sunday, February 19th at 10 a.m. at Hudson High School. Tickets are $8 for adults and $6 for students and can only be purchased online at OHSAA.org. See the athletic webpage for more details. International Club will be celebrating Mardi Gras on Tuesday, February 21st. We will meet in Madame Stratton's room, 2503, after school until 3.45 p.m. Plan on having fun games and activities. See our Google Classroom for more information. The Varsity Boys and Girls Bowling Teams will compete in the OHSAA sectional tournament on Saturday, February 18th and Sunday, February 19th at 10 a.m. at Eastbury Lanes in Canton. Tickets are $8 for adults and $6 for students and can only be purchased online at OHSAA.org. See the athletic webpage for more details. On Monday, the media communications and newspaper classes attended the first annual Cleveland Cavaliers Journalism and Video Production Day. The event consisted of a speaker panel, a behind-the-scenes tour of the production facilities, and an inside look of how the team behind the team prepares the video, graphics, and music used during the game. Following the tour, students were able to stay for the game to watch the production unfold. Be sure to check out next month's Bruin for complete coverage. Back to you guys. Thanks, guys. Before we go, Reese had an opportunity to interview another one of our favorite teachers. Reese? Hello, I'm here with... Miss Kurt. What do you teach and what grade do you teach? I teach Algebra 1, Honors Algebra 1, and Geometry with 9th and 10th graders. Do you prefer Geometry or Algebra? Hmm, I think Algebra. Why? I just like to teach it better. I don't really know Geometry that well yet. Do you have a favorite animal? I do. It's been an elephant since, like, the first grade. Couldn't tell you why, though. No idea. Do you have a favorite student? I don't know. You're definitely at the top of my list, Reese, of course. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a staff clique or a group you go out and hang out with, like, at lunch? or? There's a whole group of us who eat lunch together. Like Miss Simmons, Mrs. Troush, Mrs. Rohr, Mr. Postag, all of them. Do you have a favorite staff member? Of course, I have to say my mom, Mrs. Kurt. <laughs> um, what's your favorite song? Hmm, I don't have a favorite song, but I like Quinn 92 as an artist. Um, what are you passionate about? I'm passionate about my job. I like teaching students and helping them be able to learn things. Um, what, who's your favorite actress or actor? Hmm. 
Don't think I have a favorite, but I like The Greatest Showman as a movie. It's probably one of my top favorites. It's a pretty good movie. I think so, too. Well, <laughs> thank you for your time, and I appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks, Reese. That'll do it for today's announcements. We'll be back next Wednesday, February 22nd. And don't forget about the choir concert tonight. Me and Tyler sure will be singing our hearts out. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> Have a great rest of your week, Grizzlies. That was good. Was that good? That was it. Yes.